Next up is Vivian Fauna from Faculty of Business. She's going to talk about how can we stop emergency service for volunteers from quitting? Please welcome Vivian to the stage. Thank you. A destructive storm is raging outside. Gale force winds, torrents of rain late at night. Alex receives a phone call at home, puts on a pair of orange overalls, tucks her family into bed and heads out into the storm. Alex is a volunteer, one of 260,000 fire, emergency service and ambulance volunteers who are the backbone of emergency response in Australia. These organisations have a big problem retaining their volunteers. A very large number of them quit and the issue is so serious that a recent government inquiry has concluded that Australia's future capacity to respond to and recover from emergencies is at risk. My PhD is dedicated to addressing this problem and to help stop emergency service volunteers from quitting. So, why are they leaving? It turns out volunteers don't like the way that their leaders and their managers are interacting with them. Poor leadership, command and control leadership styles, like the rest of us, volunteers don't like that and they just simply won't come back. The problem is, we don't actually know what leadership styles are effective or suitable with volunteer workers. Everything we know about leadership, that's been done in paid organisations, and we simply don't know what leaders can say or do to create a positive volunteering experience and to make people want to stay. This is the gap in knowledge that my PhD is filling. My research does two things. First, identify what effective volunteer leadership looks like. A leadership approach that is directly linked to a volunteer's decision to stay in the organisation and the psychology behind that. Then I created a leadership development program that aimed to teach that leadership approach to emergency service leaders, rolled it out across Australia and measured its impact. Over two years, I delivered the training and conducted the research with over 350 emergency service leaders and their followers in an experimental study. And what did we find? A solution. We've discovered a leadership style that is directly linked to higher job satisfaction and lower turnover intention amongst volunteers and the training worked. Leaders were able to successfully learn these approaches and could retain the learning one year later. So this provides a solution for how we can make some positive changes in the way that leaders interact with their volunteer followers and ensure the future sustainability of emergency response provision in Australia. So if you're going to pick one thing that a leader could change about what they're doing, a leader of a volunteer organisation, what would it be? I think the most critical thing to recognise is that volunteers are giving up their personal time, they're giving up their weekends, they're giving up their time with their families. So we need to, more importantly, make sure that we're looking after them properly. Um, our research has shown that probably one of the most important things is to avoid a command and control authoritarian approach. Volunteers don't want to come to their volunteer role and be bossed around and told what to do. They want to be given opportunities to make decisions um, and to be empowered to do what they've come here to do, and that's to, to save lives and to make a difference. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.